and in today's video we are I'm just gonna show you off my best of collection I'm gonna really quote that best of collection cuz I only have 110 so far in my collection the rest is nine so here's another one I need to show off uh, that goes right here. so this is the best of graded cards I currently have in my collection uh, I do have some lower grades like these are all my favorites or seven or above I know seven still kind of low but there is one in here that I'm, I'm keeping I'm not getting rid of uh, at least unless somebody wants to buy it I guess uh, anyway this is my graded collection so far things I'm working on uh, I do need more tens obviously I did I, I looked and I was like I can't believe I have more tens but uh, I do have cards coming that I did hit really well with so we'll see but obviously to me it's I'm time for me to start targeting tens because I am not hitting them anyway we'll start with the sports cards I know this is not a sports card channel but this is a collecting channel too so uh, so here we go number one so there's a eight Benny Snell I'm from Kentucky I like Benny Snell so that's the only reason I had this card is an eight I think I got it off eBay and it's serialized too so pretty cool has a signature ah, awesome card if he ever does well this maybe this card will be worth money someday we'll see we'll put the ones that's shown out right there and I've been the reason I'm doing this video too is because I kind of wanted to uh, display some different ones too. I was like, I might as well show them off on YouTube. Anyway, uh, here's another sports card. This is a Tyler Hero. It's a PSA nine. Pretty cool card. Uh, like I said, this is rookie card. I like it because you know he's from Kentucky. Uh, nothing too special. Just I like people come from Kentucky. Uh, so. Here is a, uh, oh, this is Patrick Mahomes. I guess this is, uh, this is technically a rookie card, but it's not one of the one the, the Paninis or whatever everybody goes after. It's a nine. Might be worth something someday. I don't know. Everybody, you know, Patrick Mahomes, he's, he's a good player in the NFL. So, yeah. I obviously need to get some of the better cards, but that'll work. Uh, here's a Tom Brady. A mosaic Tom Brady not bad uh, when he played for the Buccaneers man I, I tell you guys what I used to hate Tom Brady I did I hated. I hated the Patriots I hated Tom Brady but then he just started just destroying everybody and he went to the Buccaneers and I'm like you know what he's a good quarterback I finally give it to him he's uh, he's probably one of the best to ever do it so it is what it is still hate the Patriots but Tom Brady he uh He's a good football player, and uh, yeah, that's that's a cool looking card. That mosaic, ten or nine. I wish it was a ten. For some reason, I ain't got ten. So I'm putting it backwards. I don't know why I don't have tens. Anyway, here's a Justin Dunn. <laughs> this is my actual only. I'll go ahead and show you. It's my actually only ten I've got so far. I, I don't even know who this is. It's this rookie card. I got it off something. Apparently, he's a good pitcher, so uh, he was hurt last year, I think. So if he starts doing well, this one might be worth something someday. Uh, but I got it really cheap on eBay. Uh, I was just browsing one day and I saw a PSA 10 for like nothing. I was like, well, it costs more to grade this thing than what it cost. So I was like, huh, I'll take it. You know, I'll, I'll take a 10 any any day. So anyway, there's the sports cards. I'm sure this is what many of you tuned in to is for magic and Pokemon or just collecting advice or, you know, what I've learned so far. Anyway, this is my CGC collection. I have no black labels yet. They are coming, though. Uh, I don't even know what this card is. All right. Oh, this is my Carry On Ant 7.5. <laughs> so, if you guys are, oh, uh, if you guys are, if you guys are fans of old school magic, then yeah this is a this is a really cool card uh, I used to have this card back in my old black deck when I was learning how to play God, I would have been would have been like eight I, I, I started learning how to play magic well maybe I'll make a video on that one day uh, when I learn how to play magic well there's the carry on ants of course here's I ain't got many magic cards I'm working on that I know 
honestly guys when it comes to collecting magic cards there's not a lot of uh graded magic cards so this is a lot of pokemon i don't even play pokemon but uh, i like collecting the cool cards all right here's a pikachu this is a uh, pikachu 1999 black star promo u2 strikes back mint nine pretty good grade on that i mean i think nine all day yeah i wish i had the new layer i like I like the new labels way better than the old labels. <laughs> they're, just, they're just cooler. Alright. I have another sports card. I forgot about it. I think I just put it in the CGC pile. Yeah, I guess I do have the new black label. That's the, that's the new black label there. Uh, anyway, CGC Universal Grade. This is a Raichu 1999 base set. Unlimited Hollow Raichu. Very nice looking card. Centering is 8.5, so I guess that's the only reason they didn't get a higher grade. At least a 9.5 would have been good. It would have been considered a 10 these days. But this, this is the only one that has uh, the subgrades on it is, is this one. So, I think. Anyway, sorry, but uh, here's another sports card. And this one I actually got graded in. It's a Kentucky card. One of my favorite players of all time, Tayshawn Prince. So, I did get, this was one of the new ones that come in graded. I did get two other sports cards graded in the new CGC, CGC label. I love the new label. I don't know why everybody hates it. I, it looks so much better. Like it's so easier, much easier to read. Like put these guys side by side. You're telling me that blue label looks better than that black one? Really? No. This black label is legit. It, now I wish they would have done something maybe with the label here, their logo. It, it looks a little off. Like I don't know, but I love the new, the new black and white. Yeah. They, great label I think and but I'm new to this I ain't been collecting grade cards for a long time but MVP Tayshawn Prince 7.5 probably keep it just for my personal collection you know 7.5s and stuff ain't really worth much but uh, we'll put that in the in the sports pile for you guys to look at while we do this so this is my only SGC card I don't even remember where I got this from I don't know if it's worth a lot I think I got it off of whatnot which is a, where a lot of my bad let's put that bad graded ones i have i ain't even gonna show those off uh when i started collecting you know it was kind of cheap on whatnot and i was like hey, you know i want a graded card and i started getting more in the graded cards so thanks whatnot for blowing up my wallet anyway is my sgc this is my i don't know why they put people sent this to sgc i think it's more of a sports grading company but uh you know what in other videos, I don't know if you're going to watch this in the future or whatever, but in other previous videos, I said that CGC bought out SGC. That's not correct. It's CGC and SGS. Or CSG is what combined, not SGC. So anyway, SGC still exists. Uh, so anyway, this is a 9.5 mint. Very nice looking card. Double ver. Of course, it's, it's a newer card, 2023. But very nice looking card. I like that. I don't even know what I got it for. But 9.5 seems legit to me. Alright. So more Pokemon. This is actually our PSAs. And Pokemon cards. So let's do this. Oh yeah, I forgot I have another magic card. Oh, that's a good one. I don't know what it is. So hey, there's a Pikachu V 2023 Sword and Shield. I, I don't know what set that is. Uh the mint nine it's a pretty good card my son actually pulled this at uh nerd stock in 2023 in a mystery bag so shout out to those guys that was a fun event glad we stopped in and uh, enjoyed some some nerd action hopefully the next year's be bigger 2024 baby let's go all right so this is uh, this is one of my favorite cards I've, I've purchased and i actually had to pay quite a bit for it um uh, yeah the, the mecha godzilla battle fortress 2020 mint nine it's it's a very cool looking card i i can't tell there's a single thing wrong with this card so i'm not sure why psa didn't give this a 10 like i don't see literally anything wrong with it maybe it's off to the right a little bit but I, it's so hard to tell with magic cards because they you know they do different stuff on the side i don't know beautiful looking card just look at this card you tell me that's not a 10 oh beautiful card so i have been shopping on uh, japan and hopefully i'll do some japan 
box openings and talk a little bit about that on this channel too if you guys like that please comment down below let me know if you want me to do Japan shipping boxes openings here because I'll definitely do it because I get plenty of it anyway another PSA and this is actually uh, the Dragon Ball Z game I just thought this card was awesome and it was so cheap where I got it from uh, so this is a Dragon Ball 2014 Frieza Mint 9 just look at that card it's beautiful I don't know what it does ain't got a clue I've never even played Dragon Ball Heroes I do have some Dragon Ball Hero cards but uh, yeah beautiful looking card beautiful looking card like I said I'm sorry I ain't got 10 hopefully I'm gonna start getting 10 I'll just start buying them I guess I don't know here's another Pokemon oh this is my seven so uh I'm not a big Pokemon fan at least the game uh you know it's all right but I've always liked Kadabra and uh yeah I, I don't know why I've always liked Kadabra then I, I found out there was a dark Kadabra I was like man I gotta have him that that looks fun so you know we got Abra Kadabra and Abra Kadabra I think it's Abra Kadabra is it Abra Kadabra I can't remember at the top of my head but I love this card and it's from Team Rocket's first edition cool looking card old 2000 uh, probably that's the lowest grade I'm keeping I think is this seven uh, all right so this is actually a really good card uh, I bought it off of whatnot got a pretty good deal on it I still have it sealed because it's probably the costliest card I have here I think anyway this is a 2021 Pokemon celebrations Charizard holo classic yeah so again it looks like it's perfect it looks like the bottom part I think I know why I didn't get a 10 it's right here it looks like the edges are a little crimped right at the like the very I don't know how it got cut it's like the cut wasn't perfect but otherwise this cards flawless like I it's a beautiful card beautiful Pokemon card anyway whoo on to more CGC Pokemon cards let's do this all right we have here another Pokemon oh yeah this is actually a 10 now considering uh, the CGC's new standards so we'll, we'll get into that eventually here on this channel the CGC standards and stuff I've watched a lot of videos and stuff on it now I just want to relay what I've learned so 9.5 is actually a PSA 10 now or equivalent uh, have no idea why this is not a 10 I think there's something on the bottom there but anyway the Mewtwo one of my other favorite Pokemon he's original you know pretty cool looking dude yeah six <laughs> he's six foot seven <laughs> 270 pounds that's a that's a big guy <laughs> bigger than me way bigger uh but yeah Mewtwo very nice looking card 9.5 that's actually a 10 now or I could go get it regraded with a 10 Jim Mint 10 uh not a pristine 10 I do have one of those coming we'll show you guys soon uh, anyway Dark Hypno there's another one of my favorite uh, Pokemon's the Dark Hypno it's just cool Team Rocket I, like, I, like, I do like Team Rocket cards I don't know why because they're all darker and just grittier looking not so kitty in a way like it's kitty but you know cool looking card Dark Hypno there so he's in Mint 9 oh yeah this is a beautiful card this Brawly Pokemon I have no idea who he is or what he does but nice looking card those rainbow cards are very cool I think very cool all right and our last card today guys and the CGC Pokemon and listen I'm gonna have more cards to show off if you guys enjoy this stuff just let me know if you don't I don't know I'm just making I'm trying to make cool videos trying to hang out with you guys uh, become part of this uh, card collecting community you know sports magic getting mostly magic together here on this channel you know collecting some Pokemon my son does Pokemon if you guys want to hit like he opens boxes and everything on it anyway last card this is actually another 10 uh, considered now it's a Jim Mint 10 in CGC which is equivalent to a 10 on PSA apparently uh, this is a Como GX Pokemon 2017 I think I got this off of whatnot too like whatnot guys listen I think I have a link somewhere I don't know but uh, if you guys like bidding on stuff and they, they ship it like that day uh 
and we actually have somebody we're, we're from called collectibles collectibles it's actually a play on words uh you should check those guys out they sell pokemon cards all the time uh here where i'm from in sarasville kentucky but anyways guys hope you enjoyed this video here's my best of collection hopefully i got i got a lot of work to do if you guys have any suggestions what i should do i love the new cgc labels you guys are hating on it you guys are hating on the cgc labels that's that's mine Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at this mango. I'd like to see you guys there. Follow me. Seriously, I'm gonna follow you guys back. Uh, you guys like Twitter and stuff, but anyways, what was your favorite card? Let me know. What do I need to work on? I need more magic, obviously. I, hopefully, I get some coming. But uh, eventually, we'll talk about PSA, CGC, and what ones you should grade. I, you know, I, I'm learning a lot and. Uh, upcoming video whenever I get them back is the mana grading the AI generated and I do want to send some cards over to what uh, Alpha Investments new uh, grading company PGC I'd like to see how those guys do as well but anyways guys like share and subscribe again Smango at the Smango it's Smango not S Mango I hate when I get them on and I call me S Mango it's Smango anyway we'll see you guys next time